Hey, what's up guys? This is Andre or Chokinator if you know me from my stream and I want to do another drawing workshop video and um, again the point of these videos these are not a tutorial I'm not the master of drawing I don't consider myself a teacher but I do want to show you guys what I know and the reason I call this a workshop is because if you're better than me at drawing um, you can even tell me what do you think I could fix or what I could be better at and um, right now I want to share uh, I want to talk about feet um, last time I did hands so I felt like maybe I should, maybe I should do feet and um, this it's like something that people don't really enjoy drawing a lot of the time and um, you know I guess uh, I guess I could do like a whole leg I do know well I, I want to focus on the feet though I know that the heel goes back this way typically if this is like the I don't even know which one's on the outside is it the tibia or the fibula that's on the outside and it kinda comes down um, right there but I do know the heel goes back and there's a lot of padding on the bottom of the foot and then um, I remember seeing some like images of feet uh, of how to draw feet where you can kind of separate and separate it into three parts um, which I'll I guess I'll show you this uh, the separation I'll use like a red pen or something like there's here which is like the heel or you can even make this whole part like the heel and then there's this part which kind of has like a rounded angle like a kind of like a like that or something um, going this way and this front part which is mostly the toes and then um, the toes kind of wrap around that way and you can kind of I, I sometimes I like to use lines if I want to draw it really quickly but the a toe is more like um, more like uh, like there's a like a zigzag that right there I mean it, it's kinda of like a like a shortened finger and um, I guess from uh, from the front um, if I were to draw a whole leg I know that the for the calf um, the outer part is a little bit higher than the inner one so uh, man I feel like when I draw a foot I'd have to draw the whole leg because that's what I'm more used to but, And maybe we can do like a leg workshop later too but there's like really this sort of s curve zigzag type of thing going on and yeah and then the basically um, I always try whenever whenever I draw the feet I try to make sure I draw the little ankles um, I again I forget which one's tibia and which one's fibula um, but one of them like goes uh, I think it's actually I don't I don't remember which one um, but I think it's uh, I just know one of them has like a uh, point on the outside and the other one has one on the inside. Actually this should come in further, closer. Yeah and then it kind of like expands down and then you have that sort of wrap around with the toes like that. Yeah I should go to, I should draw at resolution here. Um, so again, uh, one thing that I've learned from a bunch of other YouTube videos about how to get better at drawing is to continue to keep repeating drawing the same thing at multiple angles based on what you know. And if you see the flaws, you can either do some research to fix those flaws, or just um, if you know how to draw it, if you know how to draw it but you just did it wrong, then just do it again. So I really, you know, I appreciate the undo button. Um, one thing I have been doing though is trying to sketch more in my sketchbook. Uh, with just a pen, no eraser, um, and just try to draw anatomy to it will uh, based on what I know to try to increase my line confidence because a lot of times for digital artists we tend to um, just like I'm doing right now like erase and undo because erasing on digitally won't destroy the paper <laughs> um, whereas you know if you're on a paper and you keep erasing over the same spot the paper is eventually going to get destroyed and you have to draw it again and like. I kind of lose my spot sometimes uh, when I end up erasing uh, digitally but uh, this doesn't look right but instead of erasing this and trying to fix it why don't I just try again which is exactly what I was talking about so it's like it's called the iterative process and uh, create iterations of the same thing over and over I, I could even draw it at a different angle um, yeah so these feet I kind of give them like a like a B a B minus you know these are kind of as well about as well as I can draw feet but they're still not very good and uh, you know if any of you have like images or links to the 
the proper proportions of feet i would love to like click them and study them study them you know I'm, I'm kind of a social learner um like i could go out of my way to uh you know look it up myself but i feel like if you sent me the link then i would be way more motivated to like check it out and based on uh what you know i know the big toe kind of comes up uh pretty far right there um i don't really know much about the bones um of the feet i do know there's the heel comes back and then there's the ankle and then i do know that it's like the hand where there's like long bones and they're kind of um like attached together and i think there's some kind of like tendon right there i really i really haven't studied it very well so some of you may have studied it much better than i have but i do know that um if i were to draw like uh like a top view let's say this is like the ankle right here that um this comes forward and there's uh, more foot on this side and the big toe kind of comes out that way the big toe really protrudes out but some people's uh what, what do you, I guess you call it index toe or second toe sometimes they're longer than the big toe and then the angle is that they kind of they don't they don't exactly um, go straight forward well I guess if you looked at your foot um, it does go, go straight forward but when you're expressing them in a drawing sometimes it looks like the rhythm of the toes like feel like they go outward let's move these around I guess what I can try to do is fill up this little canvas for you guys before I end the video so I'm just gonna keep doing it and hopefully I don't know um, I, I you know because I haven't studied um, feet anatomy all that much um, my feet uh, you know th how good I can get at drawing the feet is pretty limited so that's why it's important to study anatomy because no matter how many times you draw it if you didn't study anatomy from like real-life models or real-life um, you know, uh, in pictures in other books or tutorials like or photos even Ooh, that looks really weird um, you're not really going to improve because feet are, are a real life thing and drawing is just a representation uh, of what well drawing from life is is uh, you're trying to represent in 2d what you see in a 3d space in real life and real people have real feet and so you have to study from life I keep drawing them at um, this outside angle maybe because I'm not really thinking about it much and this is what I'm most comfortable with so let me try to um, make myself a little bit uncomfortable let's draw let's draw one from the inside I'll draw it looking the other way pointing the other way I should say let's see the inside of the foot I know that the arch um, of the foot is a little bit more pronounced on the inside and I don't know like someone tell me um, the height and width like proportionally of the foot like I don't know how many times uh, like how many units up and how many units long is the foot this like I put two by five and it's not even accurately measured but uh, I want to know because I know that the hand is kind of like you know uh, squarish maybe a little bit longer than a square and you know in my last video I kind of did a hand like that so I want to know what are the um, proportions of a foot so this is from the inside of the foot um, and the big toe is pretty much what you see because uh, it's so it's so long and it, it it's usually longer than all the other toes but if I were to draw an index toe it would probably be right there so that actually doesn't look too bad and let's try to draw the, the ankle on the inside is also um, really pronounced so not really the best at drawing ankles either so this one I think is uh, my drawing level is a lot lower and weaker than the one I did for hands because I'm not as familiar with feet and most people aren't because like I said it's not really the most enjoyable thing to draw unless that's your thing you know some people have a thing with feet and really really love feet and it, uh, I'm not one of those people but uh, some people do so maybe um, if you are one of those people you will maybe you're enjoying this video and maybe it'll make you want to draw feet better um, the thing about heels is that they kind of like there's like a rhythm uh, like like here I had to draw I had to indicate the heel because if it wasn't there uh, it doesn't look like a foot a heel is the thing that plants you know when when a foot is on the ground there's two surfaces there's the ball of the foot and then the heel and you know if a foot isn't flat if it was flat then they, our impact on the ground would be too hard for our bodies 
So there's a little bit of an arch here and you know heel and ball. So you really want to draw the heel planted and there's a fat there's a lot of fat on the foot. Uh, I don't know if it's fat but it's just like skin and padding you know on the foot just like a shoe um, because you land on your heel when you walk so this part is going to be really like fat so it, it kind of squishes on the ground and it kind of spreads around. And then there's the um, the Achilles tendon here. My, my lines aren't the best. And I know um, you guys are probably seeing me undo a lot. And again, that's like something that is a weakness of a lot of digital artists. So that's why I need to keep uh, drawing on paper because it'll help me increase my line confidence. Or at least keep trying to um, mentally note that I'm undoing too much and um, I need to stop in order to or force myself to not undo in order to increase my line confidence and you can't have confidence if you don't have a na uh, knowledge of anatomy so it all comes together it all go it all kind of goes hand in hand so I'm just gonna keep drawing feet um, I don't really want to uh, create any diverse anatomy. I don't want to draw any like fat feet or super thin or long feet. I just want to keep drawing a, a standard foot or what at least is standard in my mind just so I can master it before I uh, try to deviate at all. Um, there are I guess shortcuts for um, drawing feet but I, I'm not really familiar with them. I know like drawing a shoe like if I were to draw a shoe um, I kind of know that you know the three parts there's the the heel part and then the main part of the foot and the toe part and then when I draw a shoe um, I just kinda wrap the you know I just have a um, a mental image of where the foot is inside the shoe so let's say this is like a tennis shoe or something or a running shoe and it has your standard you know like uh, well there's a heel here and all, all that's still in there the, the ankles and the, the heel the ball of the foot, this um, sort of angle here. I don't. I don't know what that's called. The top of the foot, the front of the foot. I don't know the name for it. So yeah, you guys might have followed me for my animation tutorials, uh, and uh, I might know the good terminology and everything for animation, but I don't know all the terminology for anatomy. So that's one of my weaknesses, and I need to improve on that. So if any of you can help me, I would love that. Um, here's a shoe here. I'll erase the foot in it so we can just kind of make the shoe and at this point you know it you can draw a great shoe if you can draw a great foot you know you might know all the details of a shoe and all the design of it but if you don't if you can't draw a foot you're not gonna be able to draw a shoe well because if you can if you can feel the foot inside the shoe then you have drawn a good shoe because you know the foot so that that's kind of okay there let's um, I guess finish this uh, I could draw I could do a whole video on shoes because I feel like I'm the shoelace master I, I that is something I kind of pride myself and I'm kind of okay at shoelaces I won't really um, show you the method right now but maybe I can do another video on that later let's try a boot I guess uh, let's try a fuzzy boot So I'm gonna imagine the foot in there, make sure the heel like has something to plant itself on, the center of gravity. I think the center of the gravity is here. I'm not quite sure, but you, you can always shift depending, like you can, I guess you could tiptoe. Oh, I, I haven't done that yet, right? So if uh, the angle comes, uh, angle of the angle comes down this way, um, and let's say the person is leaning forward they can plant their weight on oh yeah I haven't bent the f these feet at all they're totally not bent yet like I said they're all they've been all at the same angle but I feel like I should practice uh, the bending of the foot and tiptoeing and stuff like that I feel like that tiptoe is not very good let's try again let's try this uh, person in the boot tiptoeing actually Maybe not quite a tiptoe, but at least putting their weight on the front of the foot. 
and you can kind of, you kind of get like a, like that correction I made right there. I, it's kind of hard to explain, but I felt like I probably didn't even correct it that well. I like to use the mirror tool too to look at things that are going wrong. And again, I'm gonna try not too hard because I think this looks pretty bad, but I'm gonna try not too hard to try to erase it and fix it, but rather just draw it again. Keep iterating. Yeah, something doesn't look right. Maybe because the person's leg is still going up straight. Maybe if it were to lean forward, that might look a little more natural. So there's that shape there. That looks right. And you lean the leg forward a bit. Maybe not too much. That looks a little bit more natural because the, the, the reason you tiptoe is because you're moving your center, center of gravity forward and up. And if someone were to like put their weight on their heel, um, the foot doesn't really bend upwards that much, like this way. But it can a little bit, so I'll try to draw that. This person looks like they're about to tip backwards. Let's try to draw someone kicking. There's a leg here. That's kind of okay. And some of you might be like kind of cringing at this because you're so much better than me at drawing. But I would love your help. You know, I'm, I'm, I try to stay humble. Like I, I can draw at a certain level, but it's not, I'm not at the highest level yet. And I would like to be. And I, I definitely, if you think I just need to um, research some anatomy more and study it and keep iterating it and try to master it, I would love to see your resources. But here's a little kick right here. I could totally animate this if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm just trying to practice the form. The foot. There's a kick. Cool. Like a roundhouse kick. Well, are we, are we running out of space here? Let's draw a couple more. Let's draw them quickly. Feet are looking weird. Yeah, there's a kind of a rhythm right there that I like. Um, I always try to think about the, you know, on this part of the foot. Um, the big toes here and then these all these toes are coming out here that uh, I really like this curve here on the outside this one right there I really like expressing that because you can kind of see it from most angles of the foot especially this one that I drew right there yeah like that like that curve right there on the bottom I like that a lot that's very pleasing it's satisfying to, to draw things um, quickly and and make them look right. So let's draw, I guess, one more foot. Same thing. Let's make it, let's, I guess, let's try to make it a little bit detailed. They've, these have almost all been right feet, too. I guess I'm really used to drawing the right foot. Even these two that are facing in opposite directions, they're the right foot. Let's try drawing a left foot here. Maybe I didn't even realize that my brain just naturally likes prefers to draw the right feet. It's time to get uh, show some love to the left side. And I guess I could do some. Let's try a toenail. Let's try a toenail right there. I this is not long enough. Oh yeah, now we can get to the nitty gritty. Yeah, okay. I think this was decent practice. I don't know if I improved per se, but I did want to show you how I draw feet. And again, if you can make me better, please give me some advice. And if I made you better, and if I helped you out a little bit, uh, that's awesome. Uh, let's all try to get better, and I hope you enjoyed this drawing workshop, and we'll be back with another one soon. Also, uh, I don't really ask this very much at the end of my videos, especially not the tutorials. Um, but if there is any content, like art content, is there, if there's anything you want to see me draw or animate or have another drawing workshop on a certain topic, just let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, that's all. And I love you all. Love you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you soon.
Bye-bye.